Hey guys, what's up? Path TCG's here, and today we have officially hit over 100 subscribers. I just want to thank each and every one of you guys, and um, the giveaway that I did has officially ended. I have emailed the participating winner, and um, yeah, just check your emails, guys. Make sure that uh, if you are the winner, please respond back to me, and feel free to just send me your address. I'm not going to be giving out the name just for the person's privacy. But today we have um, another one of these one deck, two foil packs and storage cube things. I don't know if I picked the right one for an EDH deck, so this is gonna be a little bit of a gamble. The reason being is because they all felt pretty similar and my arm wasn't really feeling the difference, I guess. So. Let's see what we have here. I really actually do like these um, storage cubes just because they're great for EDH. And now we get to see if we pick the right one. Looks pretty thick. Stoneforge Blade, no way. I think we got the Stoneforge um, Mystic, the, oh, I don't even remember her name. But if we did, that's pretty freaking cool. All right, I'm clearly excited for this. Glad I made the right pick. I don't own this deck yet, nor do I think the deck is really expensive. It comes with a Zendikar pack and a Journey to Next pack. All right, so let's get opening. This is pretty good, I'd say. All the 2014 decks have gone up in price and I didn't pick them up on time. So let's see. Well, first off, we have a Stoneforge Blade, Core Soldier. Looks like tokens are on the bottom or top. Angel. Oh, they're double side cat. Angel Cat. Soldier Spirit. Soldier Spirit. There you go. Oh, we have a Pegasus. That's pretty cool, guys. All right. All these basic white lands. From what I remember, these um should be monocolor decks. All right, we got the Nahiri deck. Awesome. So, um, all the 2014 commanders all have uh, all, all the commanders are planeswalkers, and uh, the plus two is put a one one white core soldier creature token onto the battlefield, and you can attach equipment you control to it. Minus two, you may put an equipment card from your hand or graveyard onto the battlefield, and minus 10. Put a colorless equipment artifact named Stoneforge Blade, which is this right here. And um, the equipped creature gets plus five, plus five, and has double strike, and the uh, equip cost is zero. All right, that's pretty cool. So, first mythic we have, Giselle Golden Mane, Kembaka Regent, Containment Priest, Grand Abolisher, Mentor of the Meek, Hallowed Spirit Keeper, Silver Blade Paladin, Angelic Field Marshal, Geist Honored Monk, Requiem Angel, the Darker Valkyrie, Sun Titan, Sunblast Angel, alright. Twilight Shepherd. Angel of the Dire Hour. Sarah Avenger. Armistice. Mobilization. Sacred Mesa. Marshall's Anthem. Cathar's Crusade. Amazing card in my um, Reese Token deck. True Conviction. Ablation. Benevolent Offerings. Come up and Kameupins? No, I don't know. White Sun Zenith. All right. I've never owned a White Sun Zenith, nor did I know what did until now. Pretty cool. Fell the Mighty. Nomads Assembly. Deploy to the front. Marshall Coop. Decree of Justice. Masterwork of Ingenuity. Pearl Medallion. Lockstem Warhammer, Stratocyte, 
Sword of Vengeance, Bone Horde, Moon Silver Spear, Argentum Armor, Myria the Sky Ruin, Basics, Arcane Lighthouse, Drifting Meadow, Ghost Quarter, Karoo, Secluded Steep, Temple of the False God, White Main Lion, Core Sanctifiers, Flicker Wisp, Sky Hunter, um, Skirmisher, Celestial Crusader, Brave the Element, Condemn, Afterlife, Midnight Haunting, pretty cool card. The ink seems darker on these, not sure why. Wing Shards, Return to Dust, Gift of Estates, Spectral Possession, awesome. Skull Clamp, awesome. Soul Ring, awesome. Marvel Diamond, Mask of Memory, Swift Food Boots, awesome. Commander Sphere, Assault Suit, Lore Seeker Stone. That's our last card. These decks surprisingly come with a lot more rares than I th thought they would. Like, I feel like half the deck is rares. Yeah. That's a lot of rares. So even if like you bulk it out, you could still like not get the full money's worth, but pretty decent. So I am quite happy with this deck. If I can find a hero again. What? All right, and I hear you just disappeared. I'm probably gonna like look back at this video and be like, you skipped it like 10 times. There she is. All right, so that will be the final look at her. And like I always said, it's a bit late in the video, but feel free to pause whenever you want to read the card because I do try to go slower for that reason. But we have a Journey to Nyx and Battle for Zen card pack. We can start with Journey to Nyx. I don't know if there's actually anything good from Journey to the Nyx. But this pack could prove me wrong. All right, we have Front of Fertility, Rotted Hulk, God Hunter Octopus, Rausamav, Rusamav, Front of Vigor. Oak Heart Drives. This border is so unique. I don't think I opened much um, journeys. We have a Starfall. Cruel Feeding. Stone Wise Frontier. Uncommon. Cosine to Dust. Spiteful Blow. Brain Maggot. The black is like purple starry border. And a rare is Polymorphos Rush. Polymorphous Rush. And Whitewater Naiads. Huh. Cool, we got a foil. And a Satire token. Not quite sure. Alright, DFV. The set with. Not that amazing cards. Some of them are okay. But good expeditions. So, Mind Raker. Territorial Bell, Royal Mage's Trick, McKindy Patrol, Kozilek Sentinel, Kozilek, Snapping Gnarled, Evolving Wild, Eldrazi Sky Spawner, cool for the Bant Eldrazi deck, I believe. So I'll set that to side because I'm going to build it. Hedron Blade, Bone Splinters, Broad Monitor, Drana's Emissary. He drawn archive. Wow. Do you guys see this? Wow. Ulamog the Ceaseless Hunter. All right. This was a pretty good box indeed. Rare? Nope. Foil. Or not rare. Checking for a foil. But we have the full art forest. That's pretty cool. Well, I'd like to say this was well worth it. So if you guys get the chance to buy these and you guys 
feel like you guys are good enough at weighing it with your hand, definitely pick these up. Well worth the $20 that it is. Like $20 you get an EDH deck, an Ula mug, even though it's not like guaranteed, but two packs. And if you go to like Walmart and buy two packs, that's like $8 already. So, I mean, you could say it's $12 for a commander deck. Well worth the money. All right, guys. Well, to finish this off, um, I just want to thank you guys once again for subscribing. Please remember to share, like, and um, comment if you guys have any suggestions or anything else you guys would like to see. Um, I'm at Walmart or the LGSs pretty often, so feel free to just let me know what you guys want. And also, if you guys are um, Pokemon viewers, I'm going to have some videos coming up too, so don't worry. And I'll see you guys next time.